Science 6. Vascular and Non-Vascular Plants. Objective. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to 1. Describe the structure of tracheophytes and bryophytes. 2. Compare and contrast tracheophytes and bryophytes. 3. Classify plants whether they are tracheophytes or bryophytes. Can you recall the roles of the blood vessels in the human body? Correct! Blood vessels carry blood to bring nutrients and collect waste materials from different body parts. Many animals also have body parts that act like the blood vessel. These parts form the vascular system in the animals. How about in plants? Do plants also have blood vessel-like parts? Let us discover the answer in this lesson. Plants and Photosynthesis Plants are living things that cover much of the land of Earth. You can see them everywhere. They include grass, trees, flowers, bushes, ferns, mosses, and more. Most of them are autotrophs, meaning they can make their own food through the process called photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the process by which plants make its food. Plants collect light energy from the sun, water, minerals, and carbon dioxide to make their food. Each part of a plant has a specialized role in photosynthesis. For example, the roots collect water while the leaves collect light energy, carbon dioxide, and some amount of water. The leaves also create the food of the plant. But how do plants bring water from the root to the leaves? And how do plants bring food from the leaves to other parts of the plant? It is in the stem. The main function of the stem is to transport nutrients and plant food. However, not all plants have functional stems. With or without stem. Plants with stem or vascular system are called tracheophytes. These plants have true roots, leaves, and stems. Plants without functional stems are called bryophytes or non-vascular plants. Tracheophytes have sturdy stems that help support the weight of plants, transport water, and nutrients throughout the plants. Its stem is divided into xylem and phloem. Xylem carries water and minerals from the roots up to the stem and leaves. The substance called lignin makes the xylem strong enough to bring water up from the ground to the leaves. Phloem is the vessel that carries processed food or sugar, called glucose, from the leaves to the other parts of the plants. Most vascular plants or tracheophytes have the following parts. Leaf is an organ of a plant that is specialized for photosynthesis. It captures energy from the sunlight and collects carbon dioxide from the air. Stem is the main structure that supports leaves and flowers. Stems have vascular parts that move food and water around the plant to help it grow. Some plants can store food in the stem. Roots grow underground. They help prevent the plant from falling over and absorb water and nutrients, like minerals, from the soil. Tracheophytes include trees like pine trees, spruces, cedars, elm trees and maple trees. It also includes many shrubs with woody stems that grow very tall such as, grasses, tomato plants, club mosses, horsetails, ferns, sunflowers, and lilies. Bryophytes are considered as non-vascular plants. They are small and have no true roots, stem, and leaves. These spore producing plants attach themselves to the ground not by roots but by hair-like structures called rhizoids to keep the plant in place. With an underdeveloped vascular system, these plants need to stay close to the ground where water and nutrients, like minerals, can be found. They live in many types of environments and are often found in colonies, which help the plants survive various harsh conditions. 
They have developed adaptation techniques to survive various environments, especially situations with little water. From being dormant, they may easily be activated with even just the presence of fog. Bryophytes include moss, liverworts, and hornwort. Practice exercise. Tell whether the plant shown is a bryophyte or tracheophyte. 1. Tracheophyte. 2. Bryophyte. 3. Tracheophyte. 4. Bryophyte. 5. Tracheophyte. 